Well, other than, you know, like, technically teaching me how to tattoo and stuff, you know, she just taught me how to market myself and how to treat people and treat customers and how to follow up, you know, and aftercare, just really everything. I'm still learning, you know, and I, I work with her now, so I still, I still continue to learn. American traditional. I like uh, neo-traditional. It's kind of a, it's kind of a, a new way to do traditional. It's not the traditional imagery, but it has a lot of the same aspects like line weights and, and solid, you know, color field saturation and stuff. So, um, I really didn't have a lot of like tattooer influences. You know, I just really loved art, um, and I had. I guess I had, you know, styles of art that I liked that kind of influenced me that way. But I didn't really have access to like look at like other tattooers and like, you know, and I just didn't really, I guess I just really didn't get into that side of it. Um, Amanda was kind of the first person that I ever saw doing like the type of stuff that I can do now, but at the time it seemed like it was so, so far off from anything that I was doing or trying to do. Just people, just getting to know people and meeting new people and my clients are really like, you know, developing relationships with you know people and I kinda got into it, you know, for the wrong reasons, but now since I've learned all the technical side of it, I'm able to slow down and really enjoy it a lot more than I than I used to. You know, I used to just try to just do it to you know I have to pay this bill this month so I'm gonna do this amount of tattoos but so yeah now it's a lot more it's a lot more fun and I think I stay I'm staying in it for the right reasons now but I probably didn't get into it for the right reasons you know I think that the pain is probably the biggest you know misconception whether it's they think it's gonna hurt way more than it does or they think it's not gonna hurt at all and then they get in the chair and they realize because it does hurt you know and I try to be honest with my clients and just tell them it's a tattoo, it's going to hurt, you know, but it's not the end of the world. It hurts while it's happening and you might be sore the next day depending on the size of the tattoo you get, but I think that's the biggest misconception is the pain. They just, they don't, they think it's going to hurt way worse than it really does. My, kind of my rule is like anywhere the sun, anywhere the sun shines, you know, anywhere you can get a sunburn that's typically not going to hurt as bad as, you know, if you were to lay out and get a sunburn on the inside of your arm, that's going to hurt way worse. So obviously a tattoo is going to hurt worse on the inside than the outside. So.